Hello, I'm David Bell. I'm one of the consultants within the livestock team at SEC Consultant. And as part of a Farming for a Better Climate project, we're going to be examining the feed deficiency in beef cattle with the assistance of two breed societies. Feed deficiency is a term that is bandied about quite a lot within the industry. But what does feed deficiency actually mean? Today we hear from one of the breed societies and all the work that they've been doing on feed deficiency in terms of what they think feed efficiency is, how feed efficiency is measured, and the progress that they have made in terms of building feed efficiency into their EBVs. Hello, my name is Seth Waring. I am the business manager of the Stabiliser Cattle Company. Uh, we're a breeding company based in East Yorkshire. We have cattle from uh, the bottom of uh, Cornwall up to the top of Scotland, and we make sure that we keep breeding the most efficient, sustainable, and profitable animals. So feed efficiency in a nutshell is how well animals convert feed into meat and we're here in front of the feed bins this is a great way of looking at how animals do it what we're trying to do is, is, is look at um, this individual animal how much feed he eats in a 24-hour period we calculate that on a dry matter basis we then weigh him on a regular basis as well so we know how much feed he's eating and how much live weight gain he's putting on and from that we can then gain a, a feed efficiency. So feed efficiency has been a really important measure for us and we've been measuring it now for, for over 12 years. We put uh, some of these feed efficiency units in down in, in Yorkshire 12 years ago and over that time we've now put over 1,500 animals through that system. We've captured data on 1,500 animals that allows us to then look at uh, individual feed intakes and from that, with the knowing the parentage and the breakdown of, of who's who, it's allowed us then to create an EBV. We look at two different measures realistically. We look at dry matter intake and we look at uh, feed to gain. And with those two measures, they're then inputted uh, into our block run, which is, contains all the rest of the animals. And from that, we have calculated EBVs for feed efficiency, uh, feed to gain and the dry matter intake. Now feed efficiency I think is going to have a massive part to play in beef production going forward. We've been really good at selecting for uh, live weight gain. Uh, it's a really easy way to measure, it's, it's a really easy one to select for. You go into a pen and you pick the biggest animal, the one that grows the quickest. Feed efficiency is a lot harder to do. But when you look at the other proteins of, of um, pigs and poultry, they've been selecting on feed efficiency for, for decades now and they've managed to massively improve their uh, feed efficiency. I think we are only just starting to scrape the surface of what is achievable for cattle and I think we, we all need to work better as an industry to capture more feed efficiency data so that we can not only the stabilisers have EBVs for it but every breed as a, as a measure for feed efficiency. Once we have that in there and part of a, uh, a nice balanced index we can start breeding more feed efficient animals. But I wouldn't be surprised that if in 20, 30 years time, we're producing animals that are still looking like they do now, but they're just 30, 40, 50% more efficient, less inputs going in. Obviously that means a, a more profit for the farmer, but also uh, a sustainability, a lower carbon footprint, uh, a more environmentally sensible beef product. 